Matt Hatter. Hey, listen up. For decades, my family screened old monster movies, totally unaware the hidden power of the Chronicles were setting movie villains free into an awesome new dimension. Cleaning up the mess became the duty of the Hatter family. But with my grandpa captured, I must now become the next Hatter hero. Behold its wonders! Go on! Let me go! Let me go! Thank you all for doing the heavy lifting. But I, Professor Gorski, shall be the only one to behold the wonders of this particular tomb. Clever professor, how your own thirst for chaos complements my own. Oh, that professor's a strange one. My lord, why have you freed him from his life cell? Because unlike you, he's not just strange, he's also very useful. What? Tenorak! You were expecting someone else? No, no, my lord. It's just that uh, I seek... I know what you seek. And I know who you shall serve once you have found it. The Light Stone will give you eternal life. And I shall serve you for all eternity. With pleasure. And pain. Pleasure and pain. <laughs> Enough. Begin your quest. Come on, Dad. No. Come on, Dad. Nope. Please. Still no. Why won't you teach me to run the projector? It's too complicated for a kid, Matthew. If I'm old enough to drive a car, I'm old enough to run this beast. You're not old enough to drive a car. But Mom did once let me put on the handbrake. Huh. That sounds like something I would have said to your grandpa when I was your age. So is that a yes? It's a no. We've got a screening starting in three minutes and this ah! temperamental contraption... Harry! Come quick! The toilets, they're backing up again! Oh, ho An impromptu repair! And a repair is an opportunity for invention! Coming! Don't touch anything. <laughs> be nice. He might be a little scatterbrained, but he's still the best dad a kid could ask for. Even if he does treat me like a baby sometimes. I'll tell you what. I'll prove I'm responsible by making sure this movie screen's on time. And in the process, demonstrate my awesome projectionist skills. <laughs> Obviously, I got something wrong. Maybe if I just do this... Roxy! Matt! Sea of Sands, quick! We've got a bad guy about to get a whole lot better! But Roxy... Matt! I'm... Have you got my pliers up there? On second thought, I'm on my way. Marlin, cover for me. <coughs> what on earth? Silly rodent, trying to run a projector with those tiny little fingers. Sea of Sands!
Your reaction time is still too slow. Hey, he was 4.8 seconds faster this time. Can't you just hang out and screen two all the time? Then you could always be here in a flash. Sorry. I was hiding from my dad. Why? Was he angry with you? Will be angry is more like it. Let's put it this way. It might be safer for me just to stay here and book a few bad guys. Don't get too cocky. We haven't told you about Vladimir Gorsky. Vlada who now? Professor Vladimir Gorsky. Evil treasure hunter and wannabe archaeologist. He imprisoned the poor workers at this site inside that temple. Hmm. That's not the worst thing I've seen one of Tenrock's villains do. It's a challenge, but let's go. Ah, uh, that's not the worst of it. He locked them up so that he could enter the underground tomb and steal the light stone. Long rumor to grant eternal life. The last thing we need is a nasty, scrawny creep like Gorski living forever doing Tenorok's dirty deeds for all time. Okay, okay. But first things first, let's get those workers out of there. How the heck did Gorski get this pillar to fall like this? With a crane? His arm. I thought you said he was a scrawny creep. Gorski may be scrawny, but he's got a supertronic robotic left arm. Professor Vladimir Gorski, RoboGeek. Got it. So? How are we gonna move this thing? Rip a page from Gorski's book and use a machine. Matt, you can drive a doom bug? If I can run a film projector, I can drive a buggy. Oh dear. Do something, Marlon. This, I gotta see. Look out! Hang on! We're gonna get you out of there! You can't run a projector either, can you? How we free! Quick, where's Gorski? He's gone after the light stone! Quickly! Use this secret passageway! It's a shortcut! And it looks like a fun shortcut. Why does fun for you look like scary for me? Wish us luck! Stay close. I am almost to the stone. I can feel it. Matt, it's Gorski. Ah, Matt Hatter, the newest Hatter hero. Ha! They sent a boy to do a man's job. Man enough to stop you. Heck, Roxy's man enough to stop you. Cut the sweet talk, Matt. Enough! And I do mean enough. Time to say goodbye. Come on, Gorski. Give it your best shot. <laughs> Not good enough, Gorski. We need to do something. Step aside. This time, Heather, do your worst, Gorski. <laughs> Try this. <laughs> Yeah, you're trapped, Hatter. <laughs> you foolish youths have fled into a room with no door. <laughs> Very well. Enjoy your stay. Hey! <laughs> For eternity! <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I too have a date with eternity. <laughs> Super. We avoided kicking the bucket, but we got buried anyway. The great Mad Hatter wouldn't lead us into a dead end. He has a plan. Don't you, Matt? The key is in these hieroglyphics. Matt? Going multivision. <laughs> Thanks.
That circle. It's the key to our escape. Allow me. What? What's happening? What? what? Roxy, what have you done? Matt told me to do it. I said it was the key. I didn't say to press it. Matt, the hieroglyphs say, let the elements free you. This stuff. Fire! Whoa. Let's get out of here! Back. Harry, the audience is getting a little impatient. Show them something. Anything! I'm trying, I'm trying! Ah, this ought to hold them. We want our money back! Yeah. Uh. Harry! You're running an old naval training movie! What's that doing here? I don't know. I don't know. Dad's got all sorts of old films lying around. the audience seasick. They're rushing for the bathrooms. The toilets can't handle the rush. <laughs> Get up, Rox. We need you to sniff out the trail. Give me a minute. Gorski went that way. Huh? He did? What are you, psychic? Hardly. Gorski is carrying a torch. The flame left a carbon trail on the low ceiling. Now that's what I call tracking. You're better than psychic rocks. You're brilliant. <clears throat> He's going to lose those brats. Unless I slow them down. I can't see. I can't see. Be gone. <laughs> Time to set my trap. This will slow them down. Shifting space and matter. He definitely crossed that bridge. Hey, judging from those ropes, he was lucky to make it across alive. That's weird. Do bats sleep upside down or right side up? It can only be the work of Tenorock. It's a glitch. Batter trap. Going multivision. Something. Switching to zoom mode. Whoa. What do you see? I see the two. We're clear. Let's go. Sometimes I wonder if he's just messing with us. If we can't go over the bridge... They must have been snaked by Lord Tenorock's trap. But just in case... Another hatter bites the dust. Oh, just in time, too! <laughs> Gomez! I've got a grip! Gomez! Climb up! Brilliant, man. We got across, but how are we gonna get back? Let's cross that missing bridge when we come to it. Come on, let's boogie. Oh, the box of the lightstone. Eternal life will be mine.
Do you really want that? I mean, endless life means endless birthdays, and that's way too much cake for anyone. You can't stop me! I will take my place at Tenerox side, and together... I'm sure it's a charming plan, Professor, but we can't let you leave with the Lightstone. Rox, Gomez... <laughs> You see, I don't need to actually live with the stone. Merely gaze upon it. <laughs> yes! What is happening? What is happening? Removing that box set off an ancient booby trap. Set against you taking the stone, Gorski. Hand over the stone, or I drop her! Don't do it, Matt! It's not even that deep! No big deal! Uh, maybe it's a bit of a big deal. That does it, Gorski! I'm destroying this thing! I'm not playing, boy! No one could survive the venom of these serpents! That's exactly what I'm counting on. Me. Cover your eyes! Ah! The light stone! Give it to me! Gotta judge this just right. You want it? Catch! me all you want, Mr. Cobra. No harm can come to me. Eternal life is mine. All mine! Wait. Where am I? Trapped. Like the rat you are, Gorski. You mean... I'm... Inside the villain vault, where bad guys belong. Compliments of Gomez, Roxy, and Matt Hatter. I think we deserve a big hand. <laughs> <laughs> you mean, I just gained eternal life, only to live forever in a prison? Don't worry, we won't forget to send you a birthday cake. No! <laughs> I never get tired of hearing villains scream, no! <laughs> Good job, Matt. Hey, couldn't have done it without you guys. Ah, curse you, Hatter! He is pretty clever, though. Lucky! He, he, he just got lucky! I was merely toying with him. Next time he will be so fortunate. <sighs> oh, yuck! Oh, Marlin! Marlin! 
What happened? What happened? That rodent of yours tripped up the projector, ruined the film, and ended up flooding the entire theater! What? Wait, no! That's not- Marlin has got to go! Marlin didn't do anything! He was covering for me! I was the one who messed up the projector! Of course! We should have known Marlin wasn't smart enough to pull this off alone! <laughs> Well, listen up, Matthew Hatter. You're in trouble. Big trouble. You're grounded for... eternity! Um, as he came clean, maybe we could just let him mop his way out of this mess? Thanks, Dad. But mopping up this place will take an eternity. 